Good evening, friends. First Presbyterian Church of Burbank, this is KC. I just thought I would take a few minutes tonight. I happen to be at the church. I wanted to read to you uh, one of my favorite scriptures from Psalm 84. And whatever is going on in your life this week, I'm in the midst of being at home, that safer at home order from our local and state leaders. Uh, both Pastor Ross and myself pray that you are doing well that uh, you are spending time with your loved ones, that you're doing some spring cleaning, uh, that you are taking a walk, that you are taking the time just to even rest. Uh, what an interesting time we are in as God's people. So tonight, before you go to bed, and maybe you're sitting in bed right now and you have your iPad or your phone um, and you're watching this by chance, I want you to hear these words from the scriptures tonight from Psalm 84. Hear the word of the Lord, friends. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord Almighty. My soul yearns, even faints, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Even the sparrow has found a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may have her young, a place near your altar. O Lord Almighty, my King and my God, blessed are those who's, who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, who have set their hearts on pilgrimage as they pass through the valley of Baca. They make it a place of springs, the autumn rains, also cover it with pools. They go from strength to strength till each appears before God in Zion. Hear my prayer, O Lord God Almighty. Listen to me, O God of Jacob. Look upon our shield, O God. Look with favor on your anointed one. And verse 10. Better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those whose walk is blameless. O Lord Almighty, Blessed is the person who trusts in you. Let's pray. God, I pray that um, you would be with us tonight as many of us are going to bed or we're getting ready for bed. Lord, I pray for each person um, in our community here at Burbank Press. I pray for our neighborhood. We together pray for our neighborhood, for our city, for this great land that you've given to us for this planet that you have given to us. God, we pray tonight that you would hear our prayers. We pray that you would be with those who are working so hard to bring about um, quick resolve, uh, quick healing to so many who aren't doing well tonight. We pray for the caregivers, the doctors who are working so hard to care for patients in our hospitals locally. We pray for those who are at home. We know that many have lost their jobs because of what's been going on. So we pray that you would provide for them tonight. For kids and families who are home because schools are closed, uh, we pray for them as well tonight. Lord, for those who are hungry, we pray that you would provide a meal for them. For those who are lonely, we pray that you would be their friend. For those who are sitting in prison tonight, we pray that you would give them peace. For those who are in the hospital tonight, we pray that you would be the great physician. For those who are struggling with mental illness and addiction, we pray that you would continue to work in their lives and to heal them. Give them friends, give them family, give them a strong support group, a group that will care for them and hold them up in prayer every day. Most of all tonight, Lord, we pray that you would continue to give us encouragement and hope to keep going. We know Easter is coming. Even as we walk through this season of Lent, 
We pray that you would help us to keep our eyes on you. Help us not to lose hope. Help us to give you the glory that you deserve each and every day. In the midst of joy, in the midst of struggle, we are comforted tonight that you haven't left us alone, that you are working even when it feels like you're not working. Again, we thank you for this word tonight from the scriptures. And until we gather together as your people, we will continue to meet online. We will continue to send Facebook messages, emails, even with our live streaming on Sundays and Pastor Ross's Bible study. We aren't going to give up being the church. We more the church. We know that the church is more than just a building. So again, we thank you for the promises that you've given us, Lord, uh, promises of hope and peace, not to give up because you are good and we are thankful for that. For it's in Jesus' name I pray, amen.